beautiful October vlog, weekend vlog. Um, today is Friday, which I'm very happy about. It is day eight and I have work as always. And of course the quality is still the same because I still don't get my camera yet. I'll hopefully either get it today after work or tomorrow. So we just gotta push it through with this bad footage for a bit, but luckily the more exciting things that I'm doing, I'll have the better quality camera for. Because as I was editing that last Vlogtober vlog, it's just, I was cringing at it. But yeah, I got dressed for today. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. Once again, it's a dark black attire. Um, I had a little gray in there, that's fine, but let me show you what I'm wearing. So I'm just wearing, well, I like curled my hair this morning. So has some curls at the end, but I'm just wearing like this very big bat wing type of shirt that I like because it's so like flowy and loose. Um, then I had these pinstripe gray high waisted pants from Boohoo that I had to cuff myself because they were a bit too long. I feel like Boohoo's clothing is meant for like tall women which is great if you're tall because I know sometimes that's hard to find at other stores so if you are tall or have very long legs definitely check out Boohoo but for my short legs it's not really the best but I made it work and I'm wearing these Shein loafers again the pearl ones that I've been getting a lot of compliments for and I only paid 17 bucks so definitely a steal check out Shein for those type of shoes, but then again, I don't really recommend Shein, so yeah, because it's it's just not good. I don't think, you know, yeah, it's just, that's a different story you could Google if you want. But I am going to head out for the day because I just want to get today over with and enjoy my weekend. So I honestly don't understand how people vlog almost every single day or every single week or whatever and make it interesting because I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe because I, I'm i working, like traveling to work. I mean, even if I was working at home, probably be a little bit better and I could vlog more. But because I'm at work and I just get sidetracked and even if I was at home, it would still be boring because I don't have a car to go anywhere. So, <laughs> which surprisingly some exciting news that I forgot to share is that your girl passed her permit test <laughs> I know it's just a permit test and I know I am 26 about to be 27 years old and I don't know how to drive yet so even when I get the permit I still don't know how to drive I know more so of just you know watch out that sign means this I never actually you know I mean I've been behind the wheel of a car but not full on driving. I pull it out the driveway, but that doesn't really count. But yeah, after I go, I actually have an appointment next Friday to go get my picture taken. And then after that, I'm gonna try and schedule some classes. So that should be exciting. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it this month or try to schedule it for next month. So don't know if I will. So don't know if I will really be vlogging that process, but yeah, so new driver on the way, but also, I don't know why, <laughs> you know, straighten my hair and hey, it's 75 degrees outside in October and 85% humidity. So, I mean, it could have been worse, but it's just, and my office was hot, our AC is broken. So no matter what I do to my hair, it's just gonna be messy by the time I get home. Um, it is now 3.50. Like I said, I get out early on Fridays and I just made it home. I am going to tidy up really quickly. Eat a little snack probably because all I had was sushi for lunch and it was not enough. Like you know how you get like the whole platters like when you order sushi for like parties? I can eat that whole thing probably by myself. So two rolls is nothing to me. And they were also like shrimp tempura rolls, so definitely nothing to me. But I'm gonna tidy up because I have a bunch of clothes everywhere, even though you guys just saw me clean in the last vlog, which was like two days ago when I cleaned my room or my whole apartment. I call it my room because it's like one big room. And then I'll grab a snack because I could use a little something. Um, 
my boyfriend is coming over i haven't seen him in about two weeks so it should be exciting <laughs> i don't know we're probably just gonna watch tv and that's it but i usually like wait to order like food with him for like dinner so that's why i don't like to like order as soon as i get home and that's why i usually just order lunch so then that in between time i could just have a snack at home or something but yeah i'll definitely be vlogging whatever we do we're probably just gonna stay in the house because i have some things to do tomorrow which now i can say because i'm posting this vlog after but we are actually gonna be surprising my sister for her birthday and she doesn't know that until she probably sees this vlog or when she sees us but like when she sees this vlog like you'll know that i've been hiding it all along um we're gonna go out to eat surprise her there tomorrow night and then the next day we're gonna do like a whole little show up at the apartment surprise thing for her hopefully it goes well and nothing happens and everything i'm saying is like pointless but it should be fun so i'm definitely gonna vlog that of course i have to vlog every day but a little bit more exciting things for you guys um but yeah i'm gonna start tidying up try to do this as quick as i can maybe fit in an episode of squid game because i didn't really finish it last night because i was too tired so not that i expected to finish the whole thing in one night on a work week day but yeah i just want to get this apartment fresh and nice for the weekend because that's one thing is like waking up on the weekends and just looking at the, like the mess i don't even care about looking at the mess during the week <laughs> that's fine because my whole day is a mess um but on the weekends, I like it to look nice and cozy and clean so I can just enjoy it and live my best life. just finished cleaning and finished showering um right now it is like seven o'clock so I've been doing all of that for about the last three hours I guess which it doesn't really feel like it well like two hours because I was talking to you guys and it was already like five o'clock but yeah two hours of cleaning and showering and now I have some clothes in the washer uh, my boyfriend is on the way and I need to figure out what we're gonna eat. I had soup and I also made um, some toast donuts again and they were still gross. I think it's just because I did Instacart and I got my plantains from a supermarket called Food Bazaar and I feel like she didn't get the right ones because these were smaller and i wanted the larger ones um and these were kind of like getting too ripe but not even ripe like just like rotten so they didn't really taste good so i don't know i think next time i just need to get that separately by myself but i'm gonna chill out a bit until he gets here and then i will see what we do after and just vlog the rest of my night i don't know if i'll talk but probably be a little montage but we will see Definitely need to figure out what I want to eat though because I am still hungry. October day nine. That's pretty fast coming. Um, I'm going to make breakfast because usually I order breakfast on the weekends and I don't. And look at that. That boy isn't ready to pop. But I'm gonna be making turkey bacon. I've learned to make it in the air fryer, which I don't know how much healthier that is because I still use like oil spray stuff. 
um, but it's olive oil. That's the only kind of oil that I use. Then I also have some eggs I'm gonna make. Now I'm kind of in the mood for scrambled eggs with peppers, but someone I know <laughs> doesn't like peppers, so might have to make two different servings but i use these vital farms pasture raised eggs i heard this is like the best kind of eggs but i don't know if that's true because these are like the chickens that like you know are actually free range like takes care of them on the farm not the ones you say are free range and they're still in coops or whatever so i'm fine spending the eight ten dollars on these versus the three dollars for the regular ones um i'm gonna have english muffins i don't know what he's gonna eat because he doesn't like english muffins um i thought these tortillas were good but they've been expired for about two months now so can't use that and i'm gonna use this cheese if you've never had this like Thick cut shredded cheese I feel like it's kind of the best because I don't know I mean it's the same type of cheese but it's just thick cut so if you make like stuffed peppers like I do this is good for sprinkling on top when you're done to like have it melt so and we're gonna try this usually we use American cheese but I only have one slice left so that won't really be enough for how much I'm making um so I'm gonna get started and See you guys in a bit. I was gonna like go to Starbucks or something to go grab one of my pumpkin spice lattes but I think I will wait so maybe later and get it or I don't know I gotta see because I am going out tonight so I would like to have that little caffeine to keep me awake but the question is what mug do I use right now either it's this one that I got from at home which I like a lot it's a nice full cozy type of mug this like monogram one from anthropology that i brought myself during christmas and brought my sisters matching ones as well i love this i think they have coasters too that i want to buy um then i have this one which i got from target also a little fall vibe and then if we want to go all out i had this peanuts trick-or-treat one that i got from i believe target no not target tj maxx but i'm feeling like it's too halloweenish this is just, you know, an everyday one and kind of small. So I think I'm going to go with the big boy because I like this one. It's nice to hold like this, easy to hold. So I think I'm going to make, I don't know if I want to do like a regular Nespresso coffee, which is just this because this is, or not Nespresso, Nescafe coffee because this is really good on its own, like just with milk and stuff. Or if I want to do my, what is it? Do I have any more of it? Let me see. My shot of espresso, which is the Chiaro double shot from Nespresso. Um, I don't know. 
I think I might go with the regular Nescafe because if I get a coffee later, I don't want to be like too jumpy and tired all day. So we will save the Nespresso. I prefer the Nespresso when I'm making um like ice lattes. Like I prefer that. So we're going to go with the regular Nescafe coffee. later and as you can see my hair and my makeup is all done and I got dressed because I'm about to head out go meet my sister and then go surprise my other sister at the sugar factory on the Upper East Side West Side yeah so I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing someone thinks I look like Michael Jackson but that's fine so you guys could be the voters of that the judges of that yeah okay let's go i don't know why my mirror is foggy but whatever i am wearing this cardigan that i wore a lot last year from h&m this black shirt that i just cut that was actually a dress from h&m these pants are from asos and they're kind of very ankle-ish like when i walk it's gonna get stuck but oh well and the flats i've been wearing all week to work because they are comfortable and I like them but yeah we have to get the train in like 20 minutes so I will film my little journey and whatever else we do hopefully I remember because I keep forgetting <laughs>
Good morning, everyone. Today is Vlogtober, day 10. I didn't really have to look at the calendar to remember that because today is my sister's birthday and we are going to surprise her <laughs> again. Um, I actually didn't film last night when like we were waiting outside of the restaurant but we were like trying to like be discreet but I think she already saw us and we were just like oh fancy meeting you here I didn't know you guys were going to be here <laughs> so kind of just played it off but I think she already saw us like by the time like we had time to even you know kind of hide or whatever but today we're going to be showing up to her house which I really think she's not expecting because when her and her boyfriend dropped me off last night I was like oh, okay enjoy the rest of your birthday weekend like nothing of it so my mom is actually coming my brother is coming um we're gonna go pick up a cake for her and then we're just gonna show up I think I might text her boyfriend to like say if he could just buzz us in like when we arrive because if we ring her doorbell she's gonna see us and I don't know but yeah hopefully this little surprise works <laughs> um but we'll probably order some food I think and just have some cake and then I think later today I'm gonna do my nails over um I actually did these nails myself I don't want to show you guys too much but these are actually gel x nails and I'll talk more about it later but I've learned it from TikTok I still have a lot of learning to do but I think for a first timer like this is pretty decent um but I want to do my nails because next weekend I'm doing something exciting so it should be a very good vlog um definitely add into the Halloween spirit so that'll be fun I'm gonna be going away next weekend hint hint um but yeah I'm gonna start editing this vlog because I need to upload it by tomorrow night and since I have work I can't really edit um like I won't have enough time to edit by the time I get home so I want to at least have it edited and then I'll export it tomorrow maybe like while I go to work I'll export in the morning and then when I get home, I'll just upload it and post it. So I'm going to get to that because my mom's going to be, I think she's on her way now, but it takes her about an hour to get here. So I have some time, probably still edit it when I get back if I don't finish. And then I'll post it tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to catch in with you guys when we're on our way. It is now about 5.42, about to be 6. Um, I am very tired. I feel like this weekend was very event-filled. And I am just ready to go to bed. But I'm going to try to stay up a little longer and then just head to bed early. Um, I didn't feel much because I was just enjoying the time. And yeah, I did film a singing happy birthday. Um, more so just showing you guys the cake that we got. The cake was good. It was really sweet, but it was still good. Um, since I didn't film a bunch today, I thought I would share with you guys the fall decor that I had because I haven't showed you guys anything like fall decor stuff yet in any of the videos. And I feel like by the time I do, October is going to be over. So I thought I'd share right now since I had the time to. Um, mainly just my shelf that I have that you guys probably seen already like in the other clips. But I'll go more into detail about it um, because I really like it. And the only thing I decorated was my shelf because everywhere else like I don't really care. I do have some other areas which I'll like briefly show you but the shelf is like the main point of view. So let's get into it. So this is my shelf. Um, is an Ikea shelf, I think the lac shelves from Ikea that my sister actually gave me because it matches my TV stand quite a bit and it's just lays over my TV stand don't mind the white like <laughs> table runner or that beer cap because I did not feel like moving it um, 
but yeah this is my shelf it's a very like autumnal color theme but i'm gonna get a little bit more in depth with it so these two pumpkins i actually got when i went camping um as you guys saw in my first vlogtober video these were from tj maxx i believe and they're like a porcelain like ceramic um shiny iridescent type of pumpkins i thought it really matched this photo that i got from at home which i haven't been to in a while but i really want to go back um i also had this vase that i got from urban outfitters um when i was first moving here and these like dried up baby's breath that i had since i believe the beginning of the year when i first moved in I actually came with some flowers that my boyfriend got for me for valentine's day so i thought i'd just keep them and have them dried out in there then behind here is actually a poster from the movie midsummer or midsummer which has very quickly become one of my favorite movies ever since i've seen it so i got the poster i've been meaning to frame it but i just kept it right back here for now because it's a very weird shape so I can't really find a frame that works well for it without it being too expensive. So it's going to stay there for now until I figure that out. Then right here is actually a book lamp that my sister got from I don't know where but we had it for so long and I just stole it. Um, what you do is that you charge it with like a USB and then when you open the book it looks like pages and it's lit up. You guys probably might have seen that somewhere but I just thought it looks cute here. Definitely want to charge it so I can add more lighting here. Then in this little crevice, I have this gold pumpkin from Target, as well as this white pumpkin from Target and this bigger gold pumpkin from Target, which the top actually broke off and I should have returned it, but I'm like, I don't feel like doing that whole process, so I just left it there. Another thing that I have is this very adorable candle. I don't know if adorable is the right word, but I should say very festive candle. And this is actually a candle that my sister makes. So she just opened her own Etsy shop for her fiance and they're making candles out of bear cans. Um, I think soon they're gonna be doing like bottles and stuff, but right now it's just bear cans and they both <laughs> like bear a lot. I'm not a big beer drinker, but when I'm with them and we go out for some beers, I'll have a beer. But yeah, I really like this candle. Of course I had to go for like this October theme style. I believe the scent, I don't actually remember, I don't know if it's cinnamon, I'm gonna have to check and I'll leave it down below. But I'm gonna leave her Etsy shop down below as well as my other sister's Etsy shop. They both have Etsy shops, I think I need an Etsy shop soon. But yeah, so you can definitely check out these candles, she has a ton of festive ones, you can pick different scents that you like, a ton of different designs, so definitely check it out. Great stuff, if you like candles like I do, I think this is something cool to have in your collection. Behind that, I have this poster, which I also got from, I believe it was at home or was it TJ Maxx? But it's just a girl that has a cat, kind of looks like my sister, <laughs> doesn't really look like me, but we'll just act like it's her and for some reason I have some sort of tribute photo to her. So <laughs> there's that. Then one of my favorite things about the shelf is this pom-pom garland. I actually added like these fairy lights to it, which I got from Target, but it's just like these little fluffy pom-poms which they're kind of like matted i should like fluff them out like when i got it but i was being too lazy and i just kind of draped it over like this i could have just like done like a swoop of it and then like tuck these pieces back but i'm like this is fine for now it works well for me and i really like it, it just feels so cozy and nice i do want to light that candle soon and have it lit while i'm having like a little movie night or so but yeah, let me show you the other decor that I have, starting with these. So I had these little pop dolls, or I don't want to call them dolls because my boyfriend would be very, very offended by that. <laughs> but they are just these pop figures. Um, I got a lot of like Halloween styled ones. So we have Morticia from Adam's Family, Jack from The Shining, which is one of my favorite movies that you guys might have heard me talk about a million and one times. We have Edward Scissorhands and we have Coraline and those are all some of my favorite movies that I like so much. Next to this picture of my dog, I have this little like pumpkin candle which I think smells like apple cider from Target. It's really cute. I think they had a bigger one but I just went with this small tiny one because I just thought it was adorable and fit the color of my apartment. Then over here where I just have like this like bench sort of organizational thing i had this table runner from tj maxx and i also had this pumpkin from tj maxx which i like a lot it looks like a confetti pumpkin 
also matches with the color theme of my apartment. I really like it a lot. It's very cute and sturdy and just super nice. So I love that. And last but not least, on this like little Lazy Susan thing, I just have this wooden pumpkin from Target. And I have it next to the Sweater Weather candle from Bath & Body Works, which is one of my favorite scents. And some of these like pillar candles that I got from, I believe, Ikea. So I like this little corner as well as a little decorative style to the kitchen area and a little bit of coziness. So that is all my fall decor that I have going on right now. I kind of wanted to do like the floating candles from Harry Potter, but I feel like it's going to be too much. I don't know. Like, I don't know where I would hang it from. I feel like it would look cute, like, above the shelf, like, hanging down. But I don't know if that's just too much going on. Or even from my, like, windows, I can do it from, like, the tension bar that I have for the curtains. But I don't know. I have to think about it. I might be doing too much. But I'm just going to relax for a bit. I think I'm going to finish editing the rest of this video. And then I'll do a little closing, um end clip to finish it off but hopefully this vlog was a bit exciting more exciting than the last one just because the last one it was work and once again the next one will be just work so i'm praying that the one after that one will be very exciting i'm excited for the weekend next weekend that is to do some fun stuff some fun themed stuff and to bring you guys along i'm gonna try to vlog as much as i can while i'm there so hopefully you guys enjoy it but i'm gonna chill out try to figure out why i can eat for dinner because i don't know i didn't take out any meat to defrost so that's kind of bad might make a soup again we will have to see but i'm gonna do that probably watch some youtube and then i'll catch up with you guys if i do anything interesting for the rest of the night if not i'll just say good night to you guys and end. <laughs> So guys, I just made some soup, kind of burned my tongue a bit, but I'm finishing up this vlog right now, so I'm just filming this end clip because I'm not doing anything for the rest of the night. Um, I just watched some YouTube videos also, and I think I'm going to knock out at 8.30, which is in an hour because I am so tired. So might as well head to bed early and get an early start before this next work week. Luckily, I'm off Friday, even though I have to still wake up early to do some stuff, but definitely I'm happy that it's only four days I have to worry about. But I'm going to finish up this video, then I'm going to go get ready to knock out, and I will see you guys in the next video of the next Vlogtober week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.